What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Final Fantasy 1 here with the Pixel Remaster. So before we jump back into it, I discovered that <laughs> you can actually pull up a world map, like not just a mini map in the corner, and uh, it can actually show you the locations you've visited and uh, like uh, what's in the locations, how many chests there are, how many items, etc, etc things like that so uh yeah this would be pretty useful if we want to go and actually explore those locations and find all the chests and all the items but but let's get right back into it so i'm excited because uh we need to actually have our first combat encounter <laughs> so uh let's do it let's um i guess just run around the world until we uh find something and can actually see how the combat is like uh there we go okay Oh, great. Oh, listen to that guitar, guys. That is so awesome. Oh, I just saw the name Frankie again. Why did I choose that name? I must have been so ridiculously crazy to do that. Uh, but <laughs> hey, I mean, it's hilarious. All right. So uh, I assume we go in turns here, like one at a time. So you can either attack, use magic, uh, use items, defend, which I assume just means it's harder to hurt us, but we can't do any attacks and then flee, which would be to leave combat. Uh, and then, yeah, we've got four goblins, and oh, we can see what everyone's health is like. So, uh, let's give this a shot. He's the warrior, so I guess logic is just to attack. Um, if you choose a random target. And uh, he should also attack, because he's a monk. And uh, Robin could probably use some magic, but... Um, Cure is probably not a good magic spell to use at this point. Uh, however, I do want to try Ariel's magic. So let's see, we can cast probably two spells. So we could either put everyone to sleep. Uh, there are a few of them, so it might be worth a try. Uh, or we could give each of these a shot. It's probably worth giving them a shot, but um, let's try the sleep effect first. Ah, look at that. Okay, <laughs> so I guess we're just targeting everyone by like default. Uh, let's give it a shot. Oh, look at those those animations. Those are sick. Oh, it just looks so good. Man, I love this game. It looks like we didn't put that goblin to sleep at all. That's interesting. Okay, I guess we're just gonna... Oh, hello. Okay, I guess we're just gonna attack them then. Interesting. So we didn't put them to sleep at all. <laughs> the music is so cool. I love it. Oh, man. It makes you so happy. It's like like everything is right in the world. Oh, awesome. Okay. Anyway, so uh, 24 gil and 24 experience. And I assume it's split them between all of the characters. Great. So you can see how many it takes to level up. So probably we'll keep going until... We've leveled them up. I think that's the logical thing to do, right? Gain at least like one level before. <laughs> I love their jelly, ball, jelly blob running. It's hilarious. Oh, ambushed. What does that mean? Oh, they attack first. Like we don't get to, to do anything. Hmm. Oh, they're doing some damage. Okay. Uh, but not all of them attacked. Interesting. Okay. Uh, she could. Uh, Robin could cast Cure on Ariel, but uh, I'm not sure it's worth it. Oh man, this music is so awesome. <laughs> Makes you want to rock out. I love it. Okay, um, let's just make her attack someone random. I do want to try one of these spells, so let's try Fire. These animations are so good, guys. <laughs> Look at that! Man, he does a lot of damage. I don't know if it's worth using these spells on the goblins, but... Huh. Even Robin can kick butt. Uh, it's definitely not worth using these spells, but um, it's worth at least seeing what they can do, right? I also know there's an auto battle. Uh... Okay, we're getting close. Uh, I also know there's an auto battle uh, function, and I want to try that. So, um, yeah, let's let's keep running around, guys. I assume this here is the bridge we need to cross over. All right, uh, I think you press... What is it? You press... 
X. Okay. Guys, this could fail, but let's give it a shot. So they just auto automatically allocating abilities and it goes faster. Look at that, level two. Awesome. Oh, it even tells us what goes up. Whoa, Frankie's hit points doubled. Dang, Frankie, you've been working out, my boy. Look at you doing those like star jumps. Of course you're gonna get stronger like that. <laughs> oh, that's freaking awesome. I love it. The animations are so cute, guys. It's making me laugh so much. Um, but look at that, double hit points. That is freaking insane, man. 61 already, he's only level two. Uh, my man Raiko as well, also getting 57. Uh, Robin, interestingly though, just seeing those like uh, <laughs> dance moves there is really getting you going. Uh, intellect and luck didn't go up too much, but just a bit. Oh yeah, one hit point, really? Seriously? I, can't you work out like the others? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Man, seriously though, only one hit point. I'm at what? Is this like a random roll of the dice? Like sometimes you get a little, sometimes you get a lot. That'll suck. Um, I think in that case, uh, let's go for like one more level. See if we can get Ariel to get a little bit more. I'm just trying to keep an eye on hit points, uh, so we don't lose too much. Are you? These guys don't do a lot of damage. And this auto battle ability is so worth it. <laughs> Look at that! Like, clearing the room? Totally worth it. And so speedy as well, right? Uh, let's run around as Ariel for a bit. Maybe that's why <laughs> he's not getting fit. Because uh, he's not getting any exercise. As soon as uh, Ariel's health drops below 10, I think I'm going to heal him. Makes the most sense to me. Also, I want to see how Cure works. <laughs> and uh, I actually wasn't watching to see what happens to hit to mana points. Oh, what is this? We got wolves. Not good. Not good. We don't even have any magic left, Ariel. Uh, oh, hang on. Can I go back? I can go back. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's hope the wolves don't do too much damage. Ooh. They have a lot of hit points. <gasps> we missed. Oh no. Wolves are serious, guys. Okay, uh, Robin, you need to heal yourself. No! Please don't die. Oof. That was close. Okay, so it is a bit random. Frankie just gets a little bit of hit points. Uh, Raiko. Also just a little. Robin also a little. It's not saying what's happening to their, their mana points though, that's sad. Uh, Ariel also only just one? Really? What is wrong? Why can't you get a little bit more? <laughs> um, okay, I wanted to go into the menu, <laughs> that's what I wanted to do. Uh, it seems as though... No, it doesn't actually say. I need to see what's going on here. Uh, it doesn't explain how they're gaining uh, magic points. All right. Well, let's uh, let's heal Robin. See how much this actually heals. Ooh, heals like thirty. Well, okay. Uh, let's head back to town. I just healed up um, Ariel a little bit because he was also quite low. Uh, let's head back to town and. Uh, Let's go rest, number one. It's kind of fun being able to play as different characters. Uh, 30 gil per night is fine with me. We have so much skill. <laughs> that music was cute as well. All right, let's, um, let's actually have a look at uh, how much money we have. 287, uh, do we have any items? Just these, which we're not going to use. Oh, oh, I forgot. I forgot. I totally looked this up and uh, forgot to do it. But we're supposed to remove this. Um, it, even though he can equip it, it's not good for him. 
<laughs> it's not good for him. Uh, as weird as that sounds, it's not good for him to use a nunchaku. Apparently, he should he should stick to just fists, I guess. Uh, <laughs> he'll probably do a lot better that way, apparently. Um, for now, let's uh, see if we can sell these things we're not using. We're not using the knife. Whoa. Oh, we can only sell one because it's only one, of course. Um, and I want to sell both the star, both the stars. What? Um, and we want to sell the nunchaku because that ain't going to be useful for him. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else we we could use here? Nope. That's it for weapons. No worries. Uh, and let's let's go get some equipment on. Honestly, guys, this combat is so worth it. I think. Um, it's just so much fun. Uh, it seems so simple, but it's, it's, you know, it's, it's like, um, I don't know, there's something, like, really special about the kind of turn-based combat system you got here, you know, where, um, every move you do with the character feels, uh, like you have to kind of think it out, unless you're using the auto battle system. Uh, but also the animations are nice and smooth, and the combat doesn't take forever. I know there are some games where, like, the turn-based stuff takes really long, um, but that's not the case here. So, uh, <laughs> that's great. Um, we do have some spare cash, so let's see if we can get any spells that are worth it for our friend Robin over here. Dio, which deals damage to undead enemies. Uh, that might be worth it. Uh, protect raises one ally's defense, which I assume is, um, what, physical attacks? I guess it could be magic attacks as well. Uh, defense might just be like mitigating any kind of damage. Uh, blink raises the cost of evasion, so how much damage they can avoid. Uh, as in like, I assume, being able to dodge attacks entirely. Now, that's obviously only going to affect her. Uh, whereas that, protect can affect anyone that she chooses. Uh, while Dia... Uh, we'll do fixed damage, damage to uh, the undead. So I think uh, Dia's a good starting point. Um, however, 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 we have to choose between these two, and I can't actually decide. Um, let's think about it. Uh, I assume we're not going to use these except in like boss fights, right? So this is going to be for really tough enemies. So either we want to dodge things ourselves. Which, if we only have three magic points, which is not great, then, uh, <laughs> uh, that's just not ideal, essentially. Um, because we want to be able to protect others, but then again, we don't want to be casting protect on one enemy at a time, especially with three casts only. Uh, we probably want to save, uh, our points for cure, right? Oh, this is so tough. This whole concept of having only one, uh, only having like a set number of charges is kind of really stressful. <laughs> I feel like if it was a mana point system, it'd be a lot easier. Um, okay, I feel like given that it's one point, probably blink is more worth it, right? Because then it's a deliberate choice. You're protecting yourself. Uh, although protect does give you the freedom to protect someone. Hmm. Oh man, that's tough. That's tough. Okay. Uh, 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 guys, this is so nerve-wracking. Um, um, I, I, I suppose we could always, like, uh, forget it <laughs> later and replace it if we need to, right? Uh, my thing is, okay, so we're a caster, right? I know we're not going to be attacked that much because we're near the bottom of the list, uh, but, um, Blink would stop us from getting injured if it allows us to dodge attacks, whereas Protect, um, would allow us to protect someone else. Like, for example... Uh, Raiko, uh, our monk, he's got, uh, no armor. <laughs> he's, he's wearing some clothes, I think. I can't remember what he's wearing. Uh, but he's, my understanding is that he's a bit like a glass cannon. That's usually how these kinds of characters work, right? So, um, I feel like he probably need the protect spell. Whereas, most likely, uh, Frankie, how good old strong man. They look how big his chest is. Wow. Uh, he probably doesn't need anything. So probably protect is really for the benefit of Raiko more than anyone. Because uh, I imagine he can do a lot of damage. So maybe protect is the spell we want. Given that 
I won't be attacking that much. Uh, I, as in um, ro um, Robin, <laughs> won't be attacking that much. So maybe Protect is the way to go. Uh, Ariel might benefit from it as well, but he's near the bottom of the list, so I don't know how regularly he'd be attacked. But um, let's see. <laughs> All right, Robin, you're going to be protecting him. And uh, there is an item store here somewhere. Oh, where are you? Can I run in a straight line? I just want to very quickly uh, see if there's anything worth getting here. We got uh, zero potions, but they are 40 gil. Um, I feel like potions are probably worth stocking up at some point. Ethos at this point, 150. I don't know if that's worth it. Um, with, you know, um, only two spell levels and only one of them that we can use. And Ethos just doesn't seem worth it uh, yet. Yet. Once we have spells in more levels, it might be worth it. Especially when there's multiple levels that we have uh, charges in. Uh, these here, Antidote, Eye Drops, and Echo Grass seem more useful for specific circumstances which we haven't even encountered yet. So um, not sure how useful they are. Uh, these two obviously we can't afford, so not even thinking about it. Uh, down here we got Tent and uh, Sleeping Bag. Uh, sleeping Bag partially restores the party's hit points and tent hit points and mana points. You can only be used in the field, which I assume means on the world map. So, um, hmm. I feel like it's not worth stocking up on these yet. I feel like the logical thing is you buy these and then you head out to the dungeon that you're going to and then you use them before the dungeon and then whenever you need to recharge, you hop out and uh, <laughs> uh, use them again. Uh, to recharge. So you kind of like dip in and out, I imagine, uh, into dungeons using these. So um, I guess the logical next thing is we first explore the map, we go and find our target, we get there, um, we go in, we see how big the map is, because uh, I assume we have a map now, and uh, we then we head back to town and rest. We should have gained a few levels by that point, and then we can stock up for the actual dungeon. Um, this is usually how it goes at the start of every game like this. Um, Usually the first dungeon or two, you need to like spend a fair amount of time uh, just prepping for it. And I'm okay with that. Um, I assume that like deeper into the game, uh, we might be a bit more leveled. And so it might not be as much of an issue. Um, so we'll just have to see how it goes. Uh, let's go as uh, <laughs> Frankie marching off to the dungeon. So let's have a look at our map, figure out where we're headed. Um, can I zoom in? No, I can't. Okay, I have no idea where I'm going. I just know that they said go north. So, <laughs> there's nothing to the south. And, um, all right. I think we're going to auto battle these for a little while. Oh, that guy ran away. That's cheating. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I just saw spells next to the, my character's name. So, I don't know uh, what that was about. Um... Okay, so we can't cross the bridge, so let's see what's up here. We've got a mountain range. And hello? Ooh! Blue goblins! Oh, I see what it is. Okay, so the, the thing in grey next to their names is telling you what they will do by default, right? Um, so we don't want Robin to class cure yet. So I uh, will just get everyone to attack. These are goblin guards. So I imagine they're tougher than regular goblins. Seems a bit like it. Except we're still kicking butt. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, keep heading up and see what's up here. Okay, this looks like it might be our destination because we're reaching the edge of the map. I was just going to see what's around behind the castle, but um, we'll do that shortly, I guess. Okay, it might be a little while until we level up, so I'm not sure what the best move is. Uh, what level are we? We are... Uh, it doesn't say. Oh, it does say under... Okay, level 3. I need to read. Uh, let's check what's in the the castle. Oh, that music. Dang. Why is... The, I don't know. Everyone is so skeptical about this game and like... Listen to this music, guys. It's so good. Wow. 
The piano is awesome. I, you know, when I say skeptical, like people were just saying like, oh, this, this is a, oh, wow. Is that cello? Dang. Oh, guys, I got chills. That, that is some really, really good <laughs> instrumentation. Um, wow. What I was trying to say between all this amazing music is uh, people were saying that they were skeptical about this game because it's um, it's like another one of those remakes and oh, they're cash grabbing and uh, it doesn't look so good and I don't like the font and blah, blah, blah. But actually, like, I'm loving this. I'm really loving this, guys. Um, maybe it's just because I'm new to the franchise. I don't know what to expect. Um, but I really think this is incredibly well done. And whoever did the music, honestly, this sounds like something done in a concert hall. It is that good, guys. And I'm listening to it with headphones on, so um, maybe maybe you guys should do the same if you don't believe me. But uh, this music is really good. Or go find the soundtrack on YouTube, because I, I also went and checked it out. It's really good. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's have a look at the map. Oh, that just does the mini map. Okay, great. We can see the whole map. Um, uh, we got 13 chests. Now, uh, oh what i meant to do i meant to go in here um and i don't know if it qualifies as cheating <laughs> oh we can zoom in and zoom out i don't know if it qualifies as cheating to be able to open the map like this but um hmm might uh might be might be worth it for the size of these places the only thing is it says 13 treasure chests i only count eight rooms <laughs> i mean five rooms wow counting is bad um I'm assuming these these are rooms because uh, they have like doors in front of them and uh, you can't see inside. I suppose there could be a staircase somewhere, um, but I can't see it. Um, whereas right in front of us is a big room. So I assume our logic would be you want to go like around the edge of the, the, the place, check it all out. Um, it's technically exploring, um, which the, the map um, might kind of undo the purpose of it a little bit, but um, I feel like for the first dungeon, I don't mind kind of checking it all out. Uh, if we we find that later on, it's a bit tedious and um, I don't know, because I can't see treasure chests on the map unless I'm missing something. So um, it's possible that they don't show up until you find them, in which case we'd have to explore anyway. Uh, but if they do show up on the map, then maybe in later dungeons, especially when they get big, because I'm sure they will, uh, we could perhaps uh, rely on the map a bit more. But I think let's go out. <laughs> I'm going to miss that music. Um, let's just do a little bit more grinding. Oh, we got the wheels are back. The wheels are back. Um, and uh, let's just get everyone up to maybe, I don't know, level 5 or level 6. Um, yeah, it shouldn't take too long with... Ooh, that's what I meant to do. Let's put a... How do we do this? Uh, I think... I now understand the value of putting auto battle <laughs> on continuous. Um, let's let's give that a shot. Um, and let's keep up here near the top where the enemies are a little bit more difficult. Because they will actually give us more experience. The reason I want the auto battle like this is uh, this should allow us to level up a little bit faster. Um, and get to level 5 or level 6 much quicker. That's the goal, anyway. Um, not that these enemies down here are giving us much at points. Maybe it's better to stay up here. Uh, what is this blue stuff? Is this like a marsh or something? Preemptive strikes. I assume that means we're just attacking first. Wow, we really kicked butt there. <laughs> I love this music, guys. Da, 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 oh man all the music in this game just makes me so happy oh 44 that was quite powerful uh was that a normal attack for him i didn't see i need to pay more attention to the monk to uh raiko his name is i think uh, let's stay up here, get some more XP. <gasps> no, what is this? I don't want auto battle. This is a bad idea to have an auto battle on this crazy horse. He did 34 damage, okay. Oh, we actually defeated it. Whatever that was. 
Okay. <laughs> um, I guess sometimes auto battle is not a good thing. Um, I didn't expect to encounter an enemy you hadn't seen before. But uh, there we go. Frankie got more hit points. Uh, would be great if the other characters could get this too. Raiko only a little bit. Uh, Robin also only a little bit. Ariel finally got more hit points. That is really good news. Um, let's see. Do, does anyone need... Ooh, Ariel really needs healing. Robin, time to step in and, and work your magic quite literally. Uh, go ahead and heal him up. There we go. The rest of y'all got lots of health, so we get to go for a while, uh, which probably will help a lot more. Uh, so it seems as though we're only getting like one spell point per level, roughly. So I think the next task is uh, let's get to level five and then head back to town and see what happens from there. So, um, I've been, uh, uh, looking into the size of this uh, franchise, and it's huge, guys. There's so many games here, which, uh, from my perspective, is a really good thing. Um, but wow, <laughs> it's overwhelming. I don't think I realized uh, just how much was out there. Uh, I'm probably still going to play them all. Um, I just need to figure out uh, the best way to go about that. So um, I've been debating whether I should play spin-offs as well. Um, you guys let me know what you think. Oh, great. We got four of these guys. It's time to run away, not to fight. Um, I think we need to flee. This is not going to go well. Oh, this is not going to go well. Not at all. Okay. Um, you, well, you know what? Let's go for it. We already started. <laughs> this could be a terrible idea. I should have saved the game. Um, oh, man. I should have saved the game. Okay. I need you to, to heal Ariel. Ariel, I need you to uh, put everyone to sleep now. Now, quickly. Before anything happens. Please go to sleep. Oh, it only worked on one of them? But how are we supposed to know if, it, if they went to sleep? You can't even see it. How do you know? You're supposed to remember? Okay, I guess you're just supposed to remember. Uh... No, it didn't. It seems like he didn't go to sleep. Okay, this is not good. This is not good. <laughs> um, I need to. Uh, I was not expecting such powerful enemies. I love the animations, though. They're so sweet. Okay, <laughs> that was a very, very well earned <laughs> victory, guys. <gasps> wow. I was so nervous we were going to die there, um, but I'm glad we didn't. Okay, um, yes, I think it is starting to uh, look at how many uh, magic points we have left. I think we need to head back to town, Prano. <laughs> um, and maybe actually, maybe it was a really bad idea to switch <laughs> that on. Uh, let's make sure we quick save um, so that doesn't happen again. And uh, actually do like a proper save just to be safe. Um, yeah, so I was saying I, I, I'm debating about whether or not to to play um, spin-offs. Because I've seen that some games have spin-offs and um, they, they partly relate to the plot. Um, so it depends which ones you're playing. So if you're playing Final Fantasy XIII, for example, they're all three games are actually kind of the game. Um, whereas, oh, Preemptive Strike. I want to see if Preemptive Strike is what I think it is which is to attack everyone uh, without them attacking back. Let's see. It looks like it. Two hits. Oh, you guys are doing double damage. That's even cooler. Nice. Okay, uh, we might, maybe we can squeeze in one more battle, get to level five. Um, what I was saying, uh, so some game, some of the games in the series seem to be like mandatory to play the spin-offs. Others, like, uh, um, I'm trying to think of one now. <laughs> um, oh, they were some I encountered. Um, Final Fantasy X, for example, has a sequel. Ten two, I think they call it. Oh, we're so close to level five, guys. Um, and it may or may not be mandatory, so I don't actually know what the best thing to do is, whether you should play all of these spin-offs or not. Um, I also know Final Fantasy Tactics is something people rave about a lot. 
And um, I don't know if that connects to the rest of the series. So uh, let, let me know, guys. And if there's a way to play that on PC. Because um, I need to figure out what's the best way <laughs> to play some of these. Because uh, it also depends on whether or not they're available on PC, right? Um, but yeah. All right. Let's. Uh, I think we're we're getting very, very ready to uh, head into the dungeons uh, at last. So we're just resting. And um, then we need to quickly go stock up on some items. I think it's time to buy some potions in case we need those. Probably we will, given um, how few spell charges we have. Uh, when this guy moves out of the way. <laughs> the music is so relaxing. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, 530 gil. What is useful? I think... Um, I think we need one tent so we can run out halfway through if we need to and use that. Yeah, I think just one tent is a good call. Um, and then probably an ether is not worth it. I would reckon to be safe, uh, let's say we get five potions and then we can actually get another tent. And then we're really good. I know that that's like all our money gone, <laughs> but um, we don't need to buy anything right now. So uh, that's good. We can we can spend our money. That's the point of it, right? That's why you have money is to use it, right? Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, I love this music, guys. It is so relaxing. All right, let's uh, make sure we save before we head off. Uh, quick save as well. And... Let's go for it, guys. We're off on adventure. <laughs> that amazing music. Oh, great. One of these crazy horses. They really are crazy. Okay, I need to figure out if there's a special way to attack them. I don't want to use spells on these guys. Not yet. Okay, so it seems like at least 60 damage is what you need to kill them. But they have a lot of experience, guys. Crazy mounts. All right. Uh, we're almost there. I knew there's gonna be one more. So I actually I prefer having this ability to just switch on the auto battle when you want to, because you can look at the enemies and immediately decide: do I need to auto battle this, or do I, do I need to like take it seriously? Um, I I think that's great because if you run into the crazy horse, it's <laughs> really useful. Um, what is that? Is that wind or water? Um, if you run into the crazy horse, it's really useful to like say. <laughs> I can't fight these guys, you know, um, and be able to run away. All right, let's uh, let's head into this place. I think it's called the Chaos Shrine. That's what I saw. Oh, it's even got a different animation. What is this, Gigas Worm? What is a Gigas Worm? Or whatever it is, it's dead because we got a preemptive strike, right? Free attack. <laughs> okay, thirty-four didn't do much. Twenty-one didn't do much. Five didn't do much. Oh, okay. So what is that? Uh, he needs about 60 damage? Hmm, similar to, to a crazy horse, I guess. Okay, not too bad. Uh, I just think the first time you see an enemy, you're like, oh no, the world's gonna end. Okay, so I was right. Uh, let's see what this looks like on the map. Okay, so the chest shows up now. Leather cap, great. Uh, do we have leather cap hooked on anyone? We don't, I think. First person who needs it is obviously Frankie. Uh, he's our warrior. He should always get the leather cap. Uh, okay, so that's one treasure down. Does it show up on the map now? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, so you have to open every room randomly. <gasps> no, what are these skeletons? Uh, okay, I'm... I'm not sure. Should we use our magic? Hmm. You know what? We might use our sleeping tent afterwards. Sleeping tent? <laughs> Did I just say sleeping tent? Uh, a combined sleeping bag and tent. Um, so, let's give it a shot. See what happens. Okay, four charges. It better be worth it. I hope these skeletons don't do a lot of damage. Uh, let's see. Uh, I, I'm not sure if there's if like one of our spells will work great against them. Oh, they don't even... They don't even need that much damage. What was that? Like 15 points and down? 
Okay, skeletons are not bad then, guys. I thought they were going <laughs> to be a lot tougher than that. All right, let's uh, see what's in this room. More skeletons. Okay, well, if skeletons are so easy, what's the point? <laughs> yeah. They're nothing at all. I guess if we have more skeletons, it might be worth using the magic. But uh, now we know. Ooh, two treasure chests. Awesome. Ocean. And a tent. Great. Uh, we just bought one of those. So, <laughs> uh, definitely didn't need that. <gasps> oh, no. Werewolves. No, no, no. This is not good. This is not good. Um, okay. What is what is the best approach here? Um, uh, okay. Hmm. I, I think you're just going to have to... Uh, she's not probably not going to do a lot of damage against a werewolf. Uh, but... I think maybe sleep is the right call at this point. Hope it works against a bunch of them. Oh, man. Those werewolves do a lot of damage. Come on. Please work your magic. Hey, guys. I'm scared. This is tough. Oh, it only hit some of them. It didn't even work. How do you... What? They heal? Uh, I think I might need to run away shortly. <laughs> um, how did it not work? How did sleep not work? I'm so confused. How do you know if they've gone to sleep? Do I have to just try it a few times and see what happens? You know what? I think it's worth just trying it. Um, oh man, they do a lot of damage. Oh, what is going on? It's a green stuff coming out of his head. So, I don't see any, like... Impact from the spell. So how am I supposed to have it worked? What is that green stuff? Uh, he needs healing anyway, so let's heal him. I think at this point uh, we just need to fight these guys. <laughs> uh, we're also tough guys. That was a bit unexpected. confused what the green stuff is. Is he poisoned? He is. He takes damage at the end of every turn. Okay. Um, great. I wonder... Are we going to need an antidote for this? I did not expect uh, this to be so stressful so quickly. <laughs> but dang, we got a lot of experience there. Okay. Um, oh. There's even green stuff coming off. Oh no, he is poisoned. Um, uh, we don't have. Oh dang, I should have. I should have totally bought some antidotes. That was a, a bad idea on my part. So, uh, does this mean we get damaged every step we take or something? A uh, forty-one. Uh, we got forty. Oh no, guys, we're gonna lose our black mage. No. Uh, what did I do? I should have thought this through. Okay. Um. Uh, we're gonna have to head back to town, but I don't know what the quickest way is. Uh, <laughs> um. Oh no, guys. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I wonder, do we just brave it out? <laughs> uh, explore the other rooms and then head to the exit and run back to town? I think that's what we do. Because uh, either way, it's a long way around. Uh, just having a look at that map. Look at it. Uh, you know, we could... We could go down and around this thing in the middle. Or we could go up to the corners. In either case, he's dead. So <laughs> we might as well just give up. He's gone. He's gone. I'm ready for him to die, guys. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Oh, he's still got 20. That's pretty cool. Oh, are we fighting ghouls now as well? What? Uh, okay. Seeing as he's dying, I think it's time to just use some magic, right? Ooh, those ghouls do a lot of damage. Oh, no. This is tough. Whoa, that fire did a lot of damage. Uh, so now what is going on with Raiko? He had like some stuff coming out of his head. Uh, seems like he's just low on health. I don't see an icon next to him. We're definitely not going to heal uh, Ariel. <laughs> uh, it's not worth it. We're going to lose him anyway. Yeah, it just ain't worth it. Um, hmm. 
Guys, this is turning out to be deadlier than I thought it would be. Oh no, okay. We're gonna lose Raiko, guys. I've just accepted it. <gasps> no! The door is locked. No! <laughs> we could have gone down and around. No. Okay, okay. Now we're gonna take the quickest route. We're gonna take the quickest route. Oh, hang on. But the door in the bottom right might still be uh, unlocked. Uh, okay, Ariel is dead. No, he's not. Okay, there's no point in healing him, I guess. He's gonna die and when as soon as he gets attacked, he's done. <gasps> we got a bunch of zombies. No. Uh, I think it's time to test out the fleeing ability. I hope this works. Run! Run for your life! Okay. Uh, I guess that escaping is sometimes worth it then. <laughs> uh, oh, listen to that. Ah! It's like a beatbox. I love it. Okay, we're just gonna we're, we're we're just going as fast as we can now at this point. Zombies, everything. <laughs> this game is throwing everything at Canada. It's not worth it. Are you supposed to flee in this game? Oh no, guys, you can't even sp fight spiders either. Except it's one guy. It's one guy. We can do this. And seeing as he's dying. There is no point in holding back. Let's burn the spider. Pretty sure fire hurts spiders anyway, right? Okay, so we're just gonna, for now, we're just gonna run <laughs> whenever it looks like we're not gonna make it. <laughs> Guys, okay. That was nerve wracking. We made it back. Let's get, let's get back to town. Okay, uh, provided they don't attack Ariel, we're actually okay. So uh, we could probably get away with this. They're gonna attack him though. They, if they just have to hit, hit him once and we're done for. Oh! So when in combat, he does take damage from the poison? Great. Okay. Look at him. It looks like he face planted. <laughs> so there is. Oh, he doesn't get experience. Oh no. Poor guy. And he's also got the lowest health out of everyone. Okay, well, he's dead now. <laughs> it's fine. I don't need to worry about him anymore. We're just dragging dead weight. <laughs> uh, it's better than dragging uh, dying weight, right? Okay. At least he's not going to get attacked. We don't have to worry about eating him or anything like that. Uh, but we definitely need to go get him resurrected and go get a rest. What level are we? Apprentice warrior. Whoa, what is that? 100 battles, probably? 100 enemies killed? Uh, we're level six. Okay, uh, let's, let's go get him revived. I think, because uh, of course he's not dead. He's, he's only sleeping. <laughs> he's just knocked out, right? Uh, so you yeah, you can heal this guy, right? Yes, I want to resurrect him. Body kill! Okay, <laughs> he's worth it. Arise, fallen warrior. I think body kill is worth it, I hope. Yeah, we still got 408. <laughs> Uh, oh, it only healed him with one hit point. That's fine. It only costs 30 gil to, to sleep, right? <laughs> we have to pay to sleep, guys. Oh, man. Oh, what is life coming through capitalism, eh? Wow. They charge you for everything these days. This is how they get you. They, they, they make you pay money to go out and fight monsters, to get money, to pay money to sleep, to pay money to get items, to pay money to, to like get weapons and stuff to go out and fight monsters to get money to pay for those things. It's a vicious cycle, guys, I'm telling you. All right, <laughs> uh, let's go. Oh, hang on, I want to go into the shop, not walk around it. Uh, we need to buy, oh, no, no, no. We need to buy antidotes. I learned my lesson, I think. Uh, how many do we need? Seven is a lot. Do we need seven? Do we need seven? Oh, goodness, I can't decide. Um, the thing is, if you get if you get poisoned too many times, but you know what? We we are only gonna hit to the middle room now. Uh, let's just make it five. Um, probably could do it some more potions though, because I was watching our health there and it was not good. Uh, we might be relying on potions a lot. <laughs> um, I'm not used to relying on potions so much, but um, we might just be doing that. Okay. Uh, we're heading out, guys. We're actually gonna do it this time. Let's um, oh. let's head out to the Chaos Shrine and actually 
uh, go to the middle room. I assume we probably only have uh, one, one floor to this dungeon. Uh, seeing as it's the first dungeon in the game, um, you probably would not get more floors until later. Uh, all right, we're almost in. We're almost in. Let's uh, let's make sure to save properly, and let's go for it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is it, guys. Uh, so where do you want to go? Uh, I don't see. Those two are locked. We need the Mr. Key, which the Elven King has, who's apparently not in this castle. Uh, they looked human, <laughs> and they didn't mention anything about an elf or a key. Unless they give us the key after we've helped them? I don't know. Uh, so we can't get into those two in the corner then. So I think we just head into this room in the middle. I don't see anything else. Uh, no staircases that I might have missed. Whoa, this music, guys. I need to... Is there a way to, like, buy the whole soundtrack instead of just, like, the three bonus ones that come with the pre-order? Uh, if I could own this whole soundtrack, man. I play it on, on repeat, guys. It is so good. Uh, okay, let's let's do it. Where are we? First step, we're fighting someone. Gygus Worms. Okay, uh, we can just fight these guys normally. Uh, I think this whole dungeon, I'm not going to order battle. There's no point, right? These guys are tough. Oh, look at that. 18 damage. Not good. Okay, they, they, whoa, they do quite a whooping, an ass whooping. But we got lots of hit points. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll just finish them off quickly. Woohoo, man, not good. Uh, we're definitely gonna have to use our potions. Okay, uh, this is it, guys. Uh, maybe it's time to heal up. Uh, yeah, I think it's time. Well, actually, let's quick save. Because if if we don't fight anything as soon as we go through the door... Oh, bats. Not looking good. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, he's got the princess. Oh, this is Garland. Right? That's his name. Garland, I think. Okay. Uh, this is absolutely time to use some items and heal up. Uh, we're going to use potions on uh, Robin. They've healed 50 hit points. <laughs> Ariel doesn't really have a choice. Uh, I don't think it's worth using it on Raikou yet. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're good. Let's, uh, quick save. <gasps> but let's do it, guys. This is a bit scary. Uh, he's just twirling his cloak, like, randomly. Uh, very menacingly. Okay, this is it, guys. Possibly our first boss battle. The king will have no choice but to exchange the kingdom for his daughter's life. Cornelia will be mine. <laughs> it's like so typical villain. Oh, hello there. Just didn't see that. Who's there? <gasps> no, goodness. Oh, the king's lapdogs. Do you have any idea who you're messing with? You really think that you have what it takes to cross swords with a me? Very well. Oh, goodness. I can't believe, I can't believe this is what he's going to say. I, Garland, will knock you all down. Goodness, guys. I can't believe he actually said that. That's hilarious. Really, dude? Okay. Who, is this like just a bad English translation? <laughs> I will knock you all down. Is this because we can't die? We're just being knocked out? That's hilarious. Even he acknowledges it. All right. He's just going to punch us really hard. Oh, that flash of light was cool. <gasps> Whoa, the music is different. This music is intense. Oh, shucks. No, 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 no. I've got goosebumps now. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay. Um, let's take the suit. Let's take the suit. Uh, absolutely attack. And uh, absolutely attack. What else can you do? Uh, what magic can we use? What can we use? Uh, protect. Protect is a good idea. Uh, who do you want to protect? You want to protect Raiko? Uh, what can you do? Um, guys, I'm nervous that sleep will do nothing because it seems so far like it's been doing nothing. Um, man, I think we just fire this guy. <laughs> You're fired. All right. Um, oh man, this music is not helping me relax at all. This game was supposed to be fun. All right, three to one, let's go. Please work, please work, please work. Oh, he missed, yes. Okay, we're not doing too bad. Oh, hello. He's looking protected. Is the fire working? Oh, it's working. Okay. So in that case, who else can we protect? Uh, probably Frankie's a good call, right? Uh, we don't want to lose our warrior. Uh, 
So we try lightning damage. We did like, what, 40 damage with fire? Let's try lightning, see if we do 40 damage or more. Oh, that looks so cool. Okay, they did the same amount of damage, basically. <gasps> Whoa, that was too easy. What? I thought that was gonna be harder. That's a bit underwhelming. Especially with how difficult all the other enemies were. No. That was too easy. What? Is there another floor to this dungeon? What am I missing? <laughs> well, we got the princess. Hello, princess. You, you've come to rescue me? I'm Sarah, princess of Cornelia. Words could never be enough to thank you. Oh, that's the first... <laughs> I thought that was someone else talking. That's the first time anyone's ever defeated Garland. Well, okay, yeah. <laughs> um, has no one else killed him before? Yes, that makes sense. He's alive. <laughs> what? Uh, that doesn't make sense what you're saying, Sarah. All right, uh, you must allow me to, to uh, show my gratitude. Please accompany me to Castle Cornelia. Oh, we're teleporting back. That's great. Wait, I still wanted to explore. What is that? What is that? Wait, what is the blue light? What is the blue light? No. I wanted to find out what that is. Thank you for returning my daughter to my side. There could be no doubt that you are the warriors of light from Lucan's prophecy. You should hear the prophecy in its entirety. Oh, we didn't hear that already, right? Ahem, if I may. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. If they cannot gather the shards of light, the darkness will consume all. The four crystals will never shine again. Great. So we need to defeat uh, the great darkness or uh, uh, the crystals will never shine again. That's sad. Now, I hear that a crystal can be found on the continent to our north. Continent to our north. Okay. Restoring light to the crystals is our only hope of ridding the world of the monsters which plague it. I will have the bridge to the north rebuilt, as I promised. I pray that you succeed in restoring light to the four crystals and to the world. Okay, wow, we got a big quest ahead of us, guys. Got to restore light to the four crystals. And uh, somehow, for some reason... It's in the continent to the north? How are we gonna get over there? It's all the way, like, north, what? Oh! Badass music again. Oh, that's it? You're not gonna say more? Sarah's thoughts are always with you. Well, that's great. Can you give us something more useful? <laughs> uh, this loot, oh, has been entrusted to the princesses of Cornelia for many generations. When he abducted me, Garland took this loot as well. I want you to have it may aid you on your journey oh yeah <laughs> that's hilarious you obtain the loot so dramatic you obtain the loot we got the loot guys i love it we've got loot we got you know we talk about getting loot from enemies we got loot now as well we got the, another kind of loot i love it <laughs> the dancing girl in town knows many odd bits of information no she doesn't she doesn't tell me anything if you find yourself astray, try talking to her. She may know something that can put you back on course. Um, no, she doesn't know anything. If you wanted, you could... I mean, here in Cornelia, was she proposing to us? No, no, it's nothing. Okay, sorry, I got my hopes up. Uh, you should make preparations for your journey. Restore light to the crystals. All right, thank you. We will do that. Um, maybe we'll come back and visit you someday. Uh, I can't thank you enough for saving Lady Sarah. Thank you, of course. I mean, all in a day's work for the Warriors of Light, right? What else do we do? Uh, we save Lady Sarah's. Uh, just normal work, normal work. Nothing special. Uh, hey, the king didn't give us a key, so I assume he's not Elvin. I've been assigned the important task of defending Castle Cornelia. To be honest, I'm a little nervous. Well, um... I would be too, except there's nothing to defend it against. The beautiful loot handed down for generations to the princesses of Cornelia is said to have a unique power. It can shatter the gateway of evil. Gateway of evil. Okay, so if we encounter a gateway of evil, we know what to use it with. <laughs> uh, what to use on it. Uh, yes, we are the, the warriors of light, um, I think. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't saved the world yet, have we? Uh, I don't know how I could ever thank you for rescuing Sarah. Um, your daughter's hand in marriage? No, I'm kidding. Uh, that's not gonna happen. 
Uh, she needs to ask us for that. We're not just gonna take it, like, <laughs> make it happen. That's, no, we don't do that. Uh, hello. Uh, my sister's back, and it's thanks to you all. I could just kiss you. Uh, okay. Um, too much attention from the ladies. I can't do this, guys. Uh, no. <laughs> I've, been, I've been assigned the important task of defending Castle Queen there. To be honest, I'm a little nervous. Uh, I still don't know what you're defending it from. Um... Let's go see if Gandalf has anything to say. Uh, no, you're just telling me about the Elf King, who's not your king, apparently. Uh, just to be sure, let's check we don't have a Mr. Key. Right, uh, we don't. Uh, we got key items. Just gotta loot a sonorous instrument of great beauty. Uh, oh, we can sort items. Select and organize items yourself. Organize inventory with single-use items first. Organize inventory with weapons first. Organize inventory with armor first. Single use at the top, obviously. That's where you want to go first, right? If you got weapons and stuff, you'll go second. Uh, okay, so that's it for the castle. Uh, ooh. What's happening now? Oh, of course, they still have to fix the bridge. Oh, that music is so cute. <laughs> Why is Legolas here? Uh, orders from his majesty, we have to do our part to fulfill Lucan's prophecy. Yes, uh, by building the bridge that's in the prophecy. Absolutely! Y'all just haven't been reading it correctly. In fact, why did you wait so long to build this bridge if that was the case? Um, obviously I'm, I'm joking. I know that uh, they're only building it for us. Great! So guys, we've got the whole world now to explore. And they're building this bridge pretty quickly, not gonna lie. Uh with their first, first, uh, first pumping in the air. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You just pull the bridge by pumping your fist. Uh, what does that, <laughs> they're asking exactly what I'm thinking. What does this bridge have to do with the prophecy? Uh, Legolas is like, come on, really? The four warriors of light are here. They're here in Cornelia. Not for long. We're about to bugger off. <laughs> uh, we're leaving you. We're not here for long at all. Uh, wow. Okay. So we got the whole map now. Now, they said the continent to the north. So does that just mean across the bridge? Or <laughs> does that mean the sandy place up top? I can't even move the map to show you guys where I'm pointing or where I'm thinking of. Uh, that's a bit confusing. Maybe it's literally just on the continent north of us. Um, but wow, okay guys, we got the entire map opening up to us now. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. <laughs> that is so cool. Um, all of it is open. So that means we're off on our main quest now. Let's just have a look here. Um, items. That must be the loot that we got. Uh, there's still 10 chests in the Chaos Shrine. I wonder if it's worth going back and exploring. Probably not. Um, not you know what? We'll come back when we have the Mystic Key. That's when it makes sense to come back, right? Because uh, uh, then we can actually open those doors. Um, but yeah, okay. Uh, so, in that case, guys, I will see you guys next time on Final Fantasy number one. Um, just trying to think what we gotta do next. Uh, we gotta head north. We don't have really any directions aside from that. We gotta go off and save the world. Um, yeah. And there's no point as aside from there's something on the continent to the north, and I don't know what that means. So I guess we're just gonna run off and explore the place. There's not, not even any markers on the map to show us where to go. Um... So yeah, <laughs> you know, I guess it's gonna be one of those games where you just run around and explore and find things. Um, it's probably worth it though, because I imagine that uh, there's gonna be lots of hidden items. So I'm looking forward to that. So I'll see you guys next time on Final Fantasy and uh, enjoy yourselves, stay safe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>